There you go, on, guys. Got a uh, another one going on. Um, pretty crook at the moment. I feel pretty fucking shit. I uh, can't drink. And I can't eat food properly either because my throat hurts too much. Um, anyway, enough of that. Enough of me. Uh, today, Saturday, the sixth, I think. Fuck if I know. It's just another day. We're going to uh, hopefully weld the diff back into the mud mower. This time we're gonna fucking we're gonna go over to the welder, which is over here. So we're gonna go over to the welder, and what we're actually gonna do is, is we're gonna do this. Yeah, now we're gonna fucking weld that cunt right up and good and proper. So I was thinking it was about there, I think. So we're just gonna go up, 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 right to fucking, or maybe five, five and about. Four and a bit. I'm not much of a fabricator, so fuck if I know. That's your volts. This is a wire speed. You always have your wire speed a little bit less than your volts, I'm pretty sure. So, now we'll really fucking get some welds going on. Give these a good, good fucking clean up. Give all these a good clean up. Get the shit out of them. Give the fucking Mara a good clean up. She needs it, because I made it fucking filthy. By getting a bog flat out multiple times, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna fucking line her all back up again. Everything seems to be somewhat good. It's got me fucked how I didn't break, break or bend nothing. Actually, no, that is bent. Pretty sure that's bent. Oh, fuck ah, should be right. <laughs> Hopefully, I haven't fucked the diff, but anyway, we'll figure out. Here we go guys, a little bit of a rough clean up, there we go, everything's back to fucking bare metal again. Uh, we've got to clean up the blocks in here, as you can see the welds didn't take at all, they're fucking shit. Horrible welds, I'm not much for welders so I didn't know what to have it set at properly. So this is what it... It all broke off the bloody uh, block, the blocks instead of the actual fucking mower itself. So I think it was fucking, uh... Oh, fuck, that's a bit bent. Look at that. Um, yeah, I think... I don't know if that's fucking shit steel or if it just didn't have enough heat in it. I don't think it had enough heat in it, which is why it broke so easily, but, uh... Anyway. We'll fucking lace her up this time. After having a look at the pulley, when I did the diff, when I was cutting the sides out for the diff, the blocks, I noticed that there's a, because there's a circ clip at both ends, this one had actually, um, when I ripped the diff out, this one had actually fallen out of its slot and slipped down. So the pulley was inevitably hitting the, um, the go -wo fucking, the backwards and the backwards fucking lever. And, uh, I'm thinking, that's not meant to do that. That's not in good shape. So we, uh... We had a look and pulled the pulley off and realised the clip hadn't been all the way where it's meant to be. So we fixed that problem. I'm just contemplating flipping the pulley so it sits a bit higher. See, if it sits there, you can see I can fit my fingers under there pretty easy. But if I uh, flip the pulley back over, oh, I brought the washer with it. If I flip that back over, you know I can't get my fingers in there. If it's a little bit higher, that means that the belt doesn't run as bad. We might even, we might, come off. We might even run two washers. Ah, oh, fuck it, where's that gone? We'll run two washers and bring the fuck pulley up a little bit more and we won't worry about running the, uh... there we go, look at that. It's spaced perfectly. And we just get a little circlip over here. Ah, fuck it. How, how, how does that happen? Where's it even gone? There. How the fuck? Why? What is... Why? What the fuck? This is gonna be a fucking... Rescue mission. No, it's gone. How the fuck does shit do that? Now we gotta fucking... Get the cunt out of there. Fuck's sake. We recovered the circlip, clipped her on the shaft. She's as good as gold. Got a little bit more space in there, so we're a little bit higher. 
And those who are asking what this motor's for, what this uh, FE2 liter is for out of a Edesawa, an Adesawa, it's out of the Dorf. The Dorf. Oh my god. The Dorf. It's out of the Dorf. And uh, this is getting put on it. That's a turbine. And this is a 350 Halai. A fruit. A fruit and dirt. This is a fruit and dirt. That's the turbine dirt. Turbine dirt for the dirt and dirt. Just bringing it down onto the box. Shit looks a little bit better. The log cabin bird shit factory. Do your best and grind the rest. And if you're too lazy, just do your best and leave it. Oh, should be right. That breaks. Fucked if I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> well, in case you didn't figure, she is in there. Um, but I'm not gonna get it done today or tomorrow. So I want to buy myself a box of uh, a box of split pins because when I rip the diff out, it um, the little this this goes on this lever and the the go woe lever in there like so, and uh, this has obviously come out of its position and broke the fucking split pin that was in it, and I had to smash the the old broken one out of it. So I'll get a new one of them, and a washer, because I don't know where that's gone. I think there was something else that broke, but I'm not, I'm not sure, I can't remember. Should be right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I haven't really filmed a great deal of the process of what I've been doing, but uh, the camera's about to fucking die, so there's only so much you can do when you're doing it all yourself. Alright, guys, see you in the next one. Yee! If we catch it and you hit and you die in the same day, we think you